Alzheimer's disease, in which they both express a mutant in what the first referred to. Uh, mutant APPs uh, will lead to other production of human-like peptide in these animals, also into those individuals that have these mutations, which form just a very small percentage of patients with uh, AD, the familiar form. So these animals and troubles have these plaques in their peptide, so it's antibody. But you see well the plaques also uh, are cells which stand for uh, CD45 microglia, also uh, astrocytes, which stand for GFAP, and then phenolic acidic protein. And you also find around the plaques that are both astrocytes and microglia, but also these cells uh, stand for pretty much 7%. It's upregulated in this area around the plaques. We also find a population of PTOX7 uh, in optic nerve biopsies from patients with MS. Uh, and this tends to co-localize with cells which express uh, markers for microglia. There's also a population of protein, PTOX receptor protein, uh, in optic nerve from these patients. We can also uh, take uh, animals, inject. ATP in the optic nerve, you can produce lesions very similar to those seen in the optic nerve of MS patients. This last example um, is um, the authors did what is called a metal nerve transfection. It's the third branch of the um, trigeminal nerve, which innervates the teeth. And cutting this nerve led to upregulation of p 2 x receptor uh, in the nerve. There is also a co-localization of p 2 x receptor upregulation in the nerve with cells um, which express marker for microglia. Now you can do, um, ah yes, another example, interestingly, 